topic of my presentation is the use of news videos in foreign language learning. And today I'm going to tell you something about uh, our project Avec Plaisir, so a French language learning project. Before I present you the agenda, I would like to, yeah, to introduce myself. Um, uh, Sonia has already said that I'm working at Dortmund University of Applied Sciences at the Department of Business Studies. I, I landed there after uh, having studied uh, at Saarland University uh, translation and interpreting for French, Spanish and English. I also spent some time in, in France and in Spain. And then I, I just added a PhD in applied linguistics and then followed some years of independent um, activity in project management, digital media management, or also media management for uh, national and international educational institutions and language service providers. And since 2013, I am at the Faculty of Business Studies um, as a lecturer for business communication in French and English and also uh, in international uh, intercultural management. Originally, I'm I'm almost uh, from Nuremberg or Erlangen. I'm from Tirschenreuth, which is not very uh, far away. So I'm very happy to be back today, even if it's only virtually. Uh, but maybe one day I can uh, come and visit you uh, in uh, Erlangen. I would be very happy because this is really a region which I know very, very well. Good. Now uh, to the agenda. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. First, I would like to uh, just present you the background to the project, and then some advantages of language learning with the news. And then I would like to talk about um, the, the benefits of context-oriented foreign language learning before I uh, give you a deeper insight in, into um, our project Avec Plaisir. <laughs> Avec plaisir. Uh, then, uh, yeah, just a um, very uh, rough overview of the initial situation, the project objectives, how we implemented it in our learning on our learning platform, which is Elias. And then I give you some examples of blended learning and e learning exercises um, at the end, a little summary and some perspectives and uh, a couple of student impressions as well from students from Dortmund who worked uh, already with the project outcomes. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, to interrupt me or to ask at any time. Um, as I share my screen, maybe I won't see your hands. So just open the mic or uh, Rebecca or Sonia will tell me when there are some hands raised because I, I might not see it at time. Yes, so what is the project background? So why, why we need a tool for, for better uh, learning French or for making French uh, language learning interesting? Uh, did you know that Germany and France have the densest network of exchange relations in the world? Well, I, I did not know that. And that uh, therefore I have brought you some figures. Uh, we have 22 regional and 2,200 city partnerships. We have approximately 4,300 school partnerships. We have more than 70 partnerships between German and French schools with bilingual branches like the Abibac, which, which gives you the um, uh, Abitur in French and in uh, German, uh, German Abitur and French Abitur. Then we have the, uh, the network of the Franco-German University uh, with 189 partner universities, French and German partner universities, which deliver a double degree, so French uh, degree and German degree in, in one study course. And therefore, I thought there is a need to provide a tool for a versatile and multimodal teaching that can be used both face-to-face -face and online. The second point on my agenda, language learning with the news. What is the advantage of uh, learning a language with uh, news? Um, well, first of all, news presenters speak normally a standard language. So it's, it's 
more or less easy to understand. There is a certain speech rate, there's certain vocabulary, uh, so it's quite standardized. Uh, but also we have when we have when we look the new or when we watch the news in television, we also have uh, original voices from the interviewees, and those uh, original voices allow us to get to know different speech rates or different language varieties like accents, dialects, sociolects. I have brought an example with me which shows you exactly what I mean with these, uh, yeah, different varieties of the language. Then, of course, we have the visual input, the audiovisual input, which supports comprehension. And at the same time, you always have a, a cultural input. And uh, now I would like to, to tell you something about uh, this idea of context-oriented foreign language learning. Um, we all know the, the pillars or the competencies of, uh, of language learning reading, writing, listening, speaking. If you are lucky, we have some intercultural input or in um, university language learning, we also have to deal with language for specific purposes like for English or French for engineering or, or design, IT and so on. So this is still uh, okay, but uh, what, um, what is, uh, yeah, how can I put it? Um, what is more efficient in language learning is, of course, this context based learning. So, uh, isolated vocabulary lists are, are no longer um, in use. Uh, I hope so that they are no longer in use because uh, that's really something which, which, or the context facilitates so much uh, learning language. There are also some cognitive uh, linguistic studies which, which prove that. And I think you all are experts and I think this is nothing new to you. I just wanted to situate our project in this context oriented foreign language learning. That's why I brought the slide. And that leads me uh, immediately to the project description avec plaisir. So I wanted to uh, create an innovative teaching format in the form of multimedia learning units with the objective to individually optimize students' French language skills, language skills, sorry, in an entertaining way. The application scenarios are that uh, it can accompany lectures or it can use, be used for self-study. There is permanent av availability of the learning material. There are different categories and there's placement tests. And um, yeah, this all leads to um, or contributes to the digital internationalization of the university. Um, the initial situation was that I had some material, we ha I had the video files already, uh, but I had uh, PDF task sheets, and I wanted to transform that to an attractive e-learning format. Now, actually, I have, or uh, at the moment, I have 500 um, video clips from two to three minutes, uh, which are excerpts from French news programs provided by TV Saint Monde. Um, about uh, 50 different topics and the tasks are, well, the current task, uh, like multiple choice, matching exercises, closed text, text exercises at different levels. So what did we do? We wanted to have an innovative way of learning French according to a context-based model with the possibility to supplement and expand the lecture content. Uh, we also have integrated an automated e-tutorial with no manual correction necessary. I will show you some examples later on. And we also wanted to offer the possibility of self-study independent time and place. And as I said, digital international internationalization is here the keyword. Here is a screenshot how it is implemented. I don't know if everybody knows Elias. Elias is a learning platform. Uh, maybe Moodle is, is more familiar to you. So it's the same thing. Elias is something which can be used only from the members of the, uni of the university. It's a closed system and you can upload documents, but you can also do a lot more with it. And uh, you can implement uh, this type of exercises and that's where why I decided to use Ilias for the implementation of the exercises. 
So on the screenshot, you can see you have the introduction to the project for students. You have a blended learning, you have e-learning, and here you start with your uh, placement test, which shows you which level more or less you have in order to choose uh, your exercises. Here you can see an example for the placement test. Uh, we have three levels, uh, A2, B1, and B2. Now I would like to show you some examples. This is an example for blended learning. You have uh, an e-tutorial, uh, which gives you, or the student, weekly exercise units accompanying the lecturers. The students have one week to complete the text, uh, the, the exercise or the task, and the solution becomes visible after the completion time. So this is automatically. And then additionally, there is a presential tutorial if there are any comprehension questions which need to be discussed. The e-learning part contains about 50 cat categories, as I said, and um, so the desired learning topics can be selected individual, individually. At the end of the test, you have the evaluation and display of correct solutions, but you can also, after each question, already uh, check the, the solution. So this was the, the original part, the, the PDF document. You have here an activity, the task, and then you have to get to put your cross with your uh, pencil. And we transformed that into a format, which is like that. So you have still the same questions, the same task, but uh, it's, uh, it's a digital and you just uh, click on the correct solution. And now I would like to show uh, you the an example for one of the, um, the video files. I will just show you the first 20 or 30 seconds um, to remind you what I said in the beginning when I talked about uh, using news for language learning, uh, the standardized uh, presenter with a low speech rate, and then we have different interviewees. And there you can see uh, that uh, every person is so individual in his, in its, or in his or her expressions or... Um, speech rate or vocabulary. And that's what I would like to illustrate with the first uh, 20, 30, 30 seconds. Moelleuse, parfois croquante, dorée à souhait. Entre elle et les Français, c'est une histoire d'amour qui dure depuis presque 100 ans. La baguette va-t-elle rejoindre la pizza au patrimoine mondial de l'UNESCO c'est une bonne chose, c'est toujours un plus. Ne serait-ce que manger, reconnaître, on est de manger. Mon fils euh, qui est en train de manger, je sais que si je rentre avec la baguette, il en voudra un morceau. Euh, donc ça fait, euh, ça fait partie euh, de notre patrimoine, enfin, moi, de mon enfance, de son enfance. Chaque pays pourrait faire entrer quelque chose de sa culture dans l'UNESCO. Donc euh, je ne vois pas où est l'inconvénient pour la baguette. D'ailleurs, c'est vrai que c'est bien bon et que c'est un peu une spécialité en France. Okay, so I think this is this is uh, enough uh, to illustrate what I wanted to say. You see here, even if you don't speak French, I think you see the different uh, um, varieties of, of uses of language, of French language. Good. Um, now, the um, within the platform, students can have different types of tasks, like your single choice, multiple choice, and what is really good thing is that they still have they always have the the video so some students only need to watch it once or twice other students need to watch it 20 or 30 times so it's so individually and uh, that's a good thing that because everybody can do exercises at its own pace or his or sorry at his or her own pace pace then we have true false tasks um ordering questions where you need to put the sentences in the correct order or this is very uh, a good tool for definitions you have to assign definitions to the the words or expressions and where there are the limits uh, of automatically corrected task the free text task you can tell the system that you expect some keywords to be um integrated but of course uh, it's not exactly the same as if uh, 
uh, a teacher or a lecturer corrects your text, but there is there are possibilities, and I think it's it's quite okay. Then uh, uh, that, uh, as you can see, we have uh, we are already almost at the end of my presentation. I give you a summary and some perspectives uh, for the project. So the summary is that uh, this digital learning scenario for context-based learning is um, has been designed for uh, with the objective to be an innovative supplementary offer to face-to-face -to -face teaching. The target group it is suitable for all courses of study um, because the, there's a huge variety of categories. The only thing is that it's not for beginners. So if you don't speak any French, I think you won't be happy with this stage of the project. But in the perspectives, you will see that I had al already the idea to implement a module for beginners. The learning outcomes are that uh, the, the student can improve audiovisual competence in foreign language, train linguistic expression. There's the individual work, which is possible. It can be implemented in a course or in a tutorial. The challenges are, however, that you need resources for the maintenance and expansion of the database. And uh, that means that you need yeah, resources or, or people who are working constantly on it. I think I see something in the chat. Ah, yes, yes, okay, that's correct. Uh, then, yeah, transferability, the concept, of course, is, is not only uh, for French language, it is very easy, easily transferable to other languages and other subject areas. And the perspectives, well, for example, you could create or a, a module for preparation for a stay abroad. You could integrate an extension module for beginners, the intercultural competence module, or even the reading comprehension module. And at the end, I don't know if you have time. Do I have time to show two minutes for the student impressions? impressions? Yes, please go ahead. Okay. That. Now, I I wanted to integrate uh, the English subtitles, but it didn't work. So uh, we just go to the um, just go to the uh, YouTube, and then we can have. Also die Themas, die in, äh, in den Videos. Äh, so. Die Besonderheit und Vorteil des Projektes sind zum einen, dass man lernt, dann wirklich auch die Sprache zu sprechen und alles. Und ähm, durch die Videos kann man dann auch wirklich mal hören, wie Leute sprechen, die auch Muttersprachler sind. Also ich finde es auf jeden Fall besser als vorher. Ich muss es nicht ausdrucken. Das muss ich halt vorher immer machen und bin deswegen immer zur Uni gefahren. Äh, jetzt kann ich das im Zug machen. Ich sehe direkt, was ich falsch und richtig gemacht habe und das ist auf jeden Fall ein bisschen. Äh, effizienter als vorher. Äh, super finde ich, dass man am Ende sofort die Auswertung bekommt, was man falsch gemacht hat, was man richtig gemacht hat. Dann kann man sofort selber reflektieren, welche neuen Themen man noch lernen muss oder was man schon kann. Ich finde, dass die Themen, die in, äh, in den Videos äh, äh, behandelt werden, äh, richtig interessant. Und vor allem, die werden auf äh, Französisch äh, besprochen. Das heißt, so, man könnte äh, ähm, halt Zusammenhänge zwischen dem Kurs und dem Alltag finden. Ich bin super flexibel, egal ob ich jetzt zu Hause bin, in der Uni, ob ich unterwegs bin, gerade weil ich auch viel Bahn fahre, äh, kann ich das halt ganz entspannt online machen und kann sofort ja, quasi die Aufgaben vergleichen und mir gleichzeitig das Video anschauen. Dadurch, dass man die Videos hat und die Aufgaben, wo man auch sofort dann sieht, was man richtig gemacht hat, was man falsch macht, auch ohne Ausdrucken ja jetzt mittlerweile, ich finde, so, wenn man das so sieht, dann macht es fast schon Spaß, als Student wirklich Französisch zu lernen. Also ich finde, das ist eine gute Sache. Okay, and ja, uh, yeah, let's go back to the presentation. And this is already my last slide, so I hope that I would, was able to show you uh, that learning French with the news is fun. As the student said, at the end, it's almost fun uh, to, to learn it like that. Well, that's that makes me already happy. And uh, now I'm open for your questions. And if you want to email me, feel free just to write down my address and then you can email me or ask questions now. Thank you very much. Thank you.